is the Duterte administration successful in the war on drugs? It's very successful. It's the only one who was able to hold the bull by the horn. And uh, we have seen how the Philippines is better off right now uh, with regards to the issue of drugs than ever before. Thank you, Pastor. Are other religious groups threatened by your massive success? Uh, as to what I've heard, as to what I've heard, they've been insecure and even my attorney in Hawaii said uh, jealousy is the root cause of all the problems. The problems they're throwing at us, jealousy is the cause. And he said jealousy kills. <laughs> so what can I do? I'm not making people jealous. It's just that we are successful and the God is with me and whatever I, I, I do, the Father will prosper. So if they become jealous, it's not my problem, it's their problem. Thank you, Pastor. Are you ready to face all forms of vicious attacks against you and the kingdom? Uh, 34 years I've been facing all of that. And uh, whatever the devil throws at us, we will be there to face it. Salamat po. Will you also pray to stop the looming war in the middle? Yeah, in fact, uh, in our prayer today before we end the spotlight, we will pray for that. Sir Lasco, are you happy and do you have peace of mind? Oh, yes, very much. I sleep like a baby. <laughs> you know, in my life, I am, I am, I am a man that is so fatalistic. Uh, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will face whatever, it, whatever uh, things comes or circumstances that uh, comes to my life. I will face them. And whatever the result will be, as long as I am in the will of the Father, obeying Him, I will accept any result. It may be death, it may be suffering, it may be poverty, it may, be, it may not be uh, considered as fortunate to others. But if that is the result of my obedience, so be it. 